Hi and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how you can have preview for your composables in Compose Multiplatform um, in Android Studio. So at the time of recording this video, you can have previews in Fleet by default, but I don't like Fleet uh, for the moment. Um, I think it still needs a lot of improvement. So let me show you how you can how you can have previews in Android Studio. Really simple, two steps. So First step is you go to this uh, to compose app, uh, common main, and in the column folder here, right click, create a new directory. We want to nest a bunch of directories here. So we're going to start with Android X slash compose slash desktop slash UI slash tooling slash preview. Preview like this. You can copy and paste this from the link in the description. And in this preview directory, right click, create a new column file. Let's call this preview. And here we want to create an expect annotation class called preview. And annotate it with optional expectation. And opt in for the experimental API here. Uh, step two is we need to install the, the Compose Multiplatform IDE support plugin. Really easy. Go to settings or click the settings icon right here. Click on plugins and go to the marketplace. Search for Compose Multiplatform. Just search for Compose Multiplatform and you're going to see it. I already have it installed. It looks like this. The icon looks like this. As you can see, it's, it's by JetBrains. Install this plugin. Um, now let's go to our code. Let's go to our UI. Let's see some composables. Here's the default composable here. Uh, as you can see by default, it's annotated with this preview. This preview comes from this import by JetBrains or JetBrains Compose UI tooling. We don't want that. Let's delete that and import our the expect annotation that we just created, as you can see this little E icon here. And uh, if we click it, we can have a little compose icon here. Click that icon, wait for the preview to refresh. And this is the preview for uh, this composable. Um, let me just preview the other composable that I created here. So annotate it, uh, we have this icon click on it and it renders our preview and now we have a preview for our composable now um, if you want to keep refreshing this preview while you code while coding for example what you can do is go to the under studio settings go to key map and find I think let's just search for, for preview action. As you can see here, this action comes from Compose Multiplatform IDE support. So I just right click it, add keyboard shortcut, just add any shortcut you want. For example, option S, I'm going to attach option S, click OK. And now while I'm working on my composable, for example, let's say I change this color to yellow, maybe I can use my uh, option S keystroke and it refreshes the preview for me. So that's how you can have a preview for your Compose Multiplatform project in Android Studio. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I'm planning on making more and more. Uh, Compose multi-platform and call it multi-platform content. And yeah, thanks for watching.